Remember that glass of wine a day and how it was gonna be good for you? At least we were told that. A new study shows now that no amount of alcohol is good for your health. Take that in. CTV's Neha Kulkarni is covering this story for us today, the bearer of bad news. Neha, <laughs> tell us this isn't so. Well, Marcia, I know I was hoping to raise a glass to toast the weekend. <laughs> now I may have to rethink those plans as well, and I'll tell you why. We've often heard that mantra, moderation is best, but there's a new study out from The Lancet, and it's suggesting that no safe, there is no safe level of alcohol consumption. Now, Past research, as recent as two days ago, has shown moderate drinking may protect against heart disease, but this new Lancet study shows that the risks of cancer and other diseases outweigh the benefits. Now, from a global scale, alcohol accounted for nearly one in 10 deaths in 2016, and that's for men and women between the ages of 15 and 49. Now, this was alcohol was a leading risk factor for disease and premature death in this age group. This study looked at alcohol use and health effects of 15 to 95 year olds in nearly 200 countries, and it covered 26 years of data. So it is the most comprehensive study of its kind. I wanna show you how the numbers break down. Now here are the risk factors. Out of 100,000 non-drinkers, 914 developed an alcohol-related health problem, such as cancer. Now if you had one drink a day, the risk went up by 0.5%. Seems marginal, but that actually represents as many as 100,000 deaths worldwide. At two drinks a day, the risk of disease or injury increased by 7%. And well, if you're knocking back five drinks a day, well, your risk of serious health issues goes up by nearly 40%. The senior author of this study Study says the most surprising finding was that even small amounts of alcohol, just one drink a day, actually was contributing to health loss globally. So that's why researchers from the study now hope that their research will actually overhaul public health policy guidelines and even the messaging we get from public health officials, Marcia. Okay, so what about that one glass of wine a day theory? Well, it is a long held belief. Many cultures believe that one glass of wine or a drink a day may be good for you. The Lancet study unfortunately pours cold water on that theory. The numbers show that one drink a day represents a small risk, as I pointed out, but it turns out that people who say they have just one drink a day are often not stopping there. So we're not exactly being truthful about our consumption. The Canadian Centre for Substance Abuse and Addiction, though, does have guidelines, and it actually suggests men have no more than 15 drinks a day, no more than three, or sorry, 15 drinks a week, no more than three drinks a day. For women, the guideline is no more than two drinks a day. So it's not clear if this new data and research will actually overhaul those guidelines. Some, though, are sounding a note of caution, saying that while there is no safe level, realistically, if you're gonna go out, enjoy that glass of wine, that cold beer, better to simply do it in moderation, Marcia. Okay, Snake. <laughs> thank you for that.